Hey there, hi there, ho there, everybody. It's Mindful Pig. I have finally figured out how to screen share and record, so I am the happiest person alive right now. It has literally taken me all day to figure this out, but I think I finally got it where it's working properly. So I couldn't be any more ecstatic right now. Um, welcome to my first of hopefully many videos. Um, I have a lot of different ideas of things I wanted to kind of record and talk about. Um, but you need an intro, right? You need a beginning to everything. So this is the beginning video. This is one that we can look back later on and laugh how cringy I am because there will definitely be a lot of cringe in this. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just excited. I'm just, I'm honestly so excited. I was so frustrated earlier because I, I didn't realize it was so easy to record a video. I thought, you know, you needed an app available or you needed to have some kind of software to make it work. Didn't realize you literally could just click down here and do it all from there. And I was like, wow, wow. I wish I knew it was that easy like six hours ago. I could have had this done, edited it, made it beautiful, and had it ready to go. But instead, we're doing this all last minute because that's what Mindful is all about, last minute projects. <laughs> I wanted to make these videos a little different from the stuff that you would see on my Twitch or uh, Hover or whatever else it might be that I'll, I'll post videos on. I wanted this to be unscripted. I wanted it to be... Um, not like how I do my Twitch videos. So, in other words, Mindful is clear-headed and clear-eyed. <laughs> There's no candle lighting here. Uh, I also didn't want to swear in these. I, I, I know it doesn't really make much difference for a lot of people, but I just I really wanted it to be something that I was really putting my thought into. That, you know, I wasn't taken away from whatever kind of message I was saying. And I don't think that swearing really ruins that. But you know what I mean? I just, I know I swear a lot as it is. So it'd be kind of nice to challenge myself to hold that back. And, uh, you know, try to work on being a, a better person. Um, I guess for this first video, I just kind of want to talk about basement gaming. That's why we have the uh, Discord group up right now. And I kind of just want to walk people through what my discord's all about um kind of what i'm about and what the future of all of this is going to be so i guess it is official i am a content creator i i'm trying to be at the very very best i can <laughs> um i know nothing about computers so we're literally going from the ground up um the help i've been given is from my wonderful community with little tips and tricks but basically, I'm just teaching myself all this as I go. I do not have the best microphone. I do not have the best headset. I do not have even a real laptop. I have a Chromebook that I'm using. I have a cell phone that's so broken, um, you would laugh if you could actually see it. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? And I wanted to, I guess, do all this while I'm struggling the hardest because I want other people to know that you don't need all those gadgets to put yourself out there and to start that that motion you know what i mean i see a lot of people always wanting to hold themselves back thinking they need the best microphone they need the best uh equipment available but you really don't you know people yeah that stuff does help the quality of your content it will help you you know stand out a little more above the rest but while you're just putting your name out there while you're just you know trying to establish who you are these raw amateur videos um that you're you know putting out there for the world that's your starting point right people are going to connect with you they're going to like your personality hopefully my discord community likes my personality <laughs> um but you know what i mean like you're being you and that's what's going to create those views that's what's going to create people to want to come back to want to support you and that support is going to be a heck of a lot more than some fancy video that got you you know a million views i mean yeah sure i know if i get there one day uh, i would be obviously really excited over that many views but right now this is exciting you know what i mean this is something that i never thought i would do i i didn't honestly believe i'd ever put myself out there the way i have been and that's a huge huge step to kind of put it in perspective Two years ago, I started streaming, uh, and before that, I was in this really, really dark depression, which I'm hoping with uh, future videos that I'll do, uh, we'll be able to go over the history of Mindful Pig and kind of talk about things on a more personal level. 
like I said, I have a lot of different ideas, but that's definitely one that as I kept trying to uh, record this video today, I realized it was a subject that I am passionate about and it is something I want to share with people. I will be able to share everything, obviously. There are some things that are nice to have as a mystery, um, but I will share quite a bit to help you understand the person that I am, um, to hopefully show you that um, my end goal uh, is one that I think is worth supporting, that I think is worth being a part of, and hopefully you'll feel the same way too. So, like I said, 10 years ago, you know, I was in a dark place, and I had, I had a lot going on mentally. Um, and I ended up streaming on Twitch, finally. I was, I was streamed on Mixter, but it was never like anything special, you know what I mean? It was just kind of like, I did it for the sake of doing it. And then when I went on Twitch, I ended up interacting with uh, Peaswad, who was actually one of my good friends that I made on the Discord group down here, the Super Show. Um, and yeah, I just I ended up trying it one day, and you know, I told him, I was like, hey, you know, he, he knew I was a really shy person. So I said, you know, I don't want to make a big deal out of it or anything like that, but you know, like, I would if you get a chance, right, it'd be really cool if you could watch me. And anyway, so he was a part of it. He's literally been there on every single stream. I cannot tell you what an amazing friend this guy is. Um, not to get all cheesy and stuff, right? But, like, this is the best person you could hope to meet on the internet. Like, this is someone who just genuinely wanted a friendship, you know? made that connection with that person. We had a lot of things that, you know, we had in common or, you know, ideas that we shared on the same view on. And yeah, just always makes a great effort to be, you know, that best friend you possibly could ask for on here. And if you don't watch him, you know, please, please check out his YouTube channel, check out his Twitch. Um, I will try my best to figure out how to promote those later on in here. Um, but for now, actually, I could just do this. I'm sure I promoted him at one point. Oh, there's mine. Oh, let's not do that. There he is. There's his Twitch channel. It's definitely well worth, uh, you know, five minutes, hour, whatever it is of your time that you have available. Um, yeah, just, just really happy, you know. I uh, I met him as a friend. Anyway, so, yeah, so we went into streaming, and uh, after, I think, I don't know, it only had to be a couple months, I think. Then I met Solerial, another one of my regular viewers. Uh, again, just, you know, someone who was just really supportive. Like, just got into my streams, instantly connected with me, knew what I was about, you know. Um, knew I was, you know, a little socially awkward. And that, you know, I was trying my best to, to stream and make myself you know, put myself out there, right? Trying to, trying to be someone on there. I don't want to be anything big or anything crazy like that. I just wanted to be someone that people connected with, you know, like, oh, here's Mindful. I like that guy, right? Like, that's the best thing I could hope for is that people actually like who I am and, and what I do. Uh, and then I met Tommy, who was literally the humor of the group. Like, that boy just brought the funny to every single stream. I adore the guy so much. He, uh, Oh, like, he is just the epitome of dad jokes, let me tell you. But it's it's great, you know, like, it makes the stream fun. It makes it more energized. And he definitely keeps the conversation going. It, I can say that of all three of them, Tommy is probably the best one for just keeping your streams al alive, right? When Peace Wads, you know, available and all that, of course, like, they do the same. But, um, yeah, Tommy just, he's there, you know. He's there to uh, make everyone feel good and get everyone laughing. And I really value that. Yeah, so then, you know, went into streaming a little bit longer, and I uh, eventually, you know, started to reach out a little more on Twitter. I, I realized what a huge benefit that platform was to helping someone grow. And, you know, I reached out to a few other people that you'll notice on here, too. And these are all people, by the way, that I personally message, asked to join this Discord, because I just, I think each one of them, has their own unique element to whatever they're working on. If it's streaming, if it's content creating, YouTube videos, like whatever it is, right? They all have something special that they do with it that I just think is so cool. And, you know, quick examples. Peaswad's part of also a podcast that he does. Uh, PJ here is probably one of the craziest Gems of War players I've ever seen. He is so, like, 
professional <laughs> with his teams and everything. I love his watching his content. Um, Z Chick is such a community member. Like, holy moly, this girl just really tries to connect with her fellow streamers, uh, really makes the effort, you know, to be someone's friend online. I think that's really cool. Will is such a unique individual. I love his lore videos that he does. Um, has some great YouTube content. Um, also does a lot of cool charity events that uh, I don't think get talked enough about really. Like I, I really like his, his concept to why he streams. And you know, so on so on, right? Like every one of these guys has something really cool about them or girls. Um, yeah, that's basically why I asked everyone of them to join this Discord thing I was thinking about when I made this Discord, not just to have, you know, my, my circle kind of finally come together, but I also wanted to create something where people could feel safe, people could kick back and relax, and, you know, I, I think Peaswad said it best on his podca podcast, sorry, um, I want to have that kind of atmosphere where it's you kick back, you got a beer in your hand, and you're just shooting the breeze with your fellow friends. And I think we've done a really good job of doing that. Some of us are more talkative than others, you know what I mean? Some of us are more active than others. But at the end of the day, we all get along the same way. You know what I mean? When there's an idea or there's a promotion that someone wants to do, we're all engaged in that. You know, either we interact with it, we promote it, we like it, we do something, right? To let that person know like, hey man, hey lady, whatever the case might be, you know, you got this. And yeah, I just, I honestly couldn't be any more proud of, of all these individuals that have been a part of this. Which leads to the point of why you should join. Oops, sorry, wrong one. Why you should join um, basically gaming in general. As I said, after the six months of streaming and, and kind of trying to find what I was going for, like what kind of streamer did I want to be, I realized that I didn't want to just be that individual streamer. Instead, I wanted to be the community leader in a way, I guess. I wanted to be someone that people were happy to see, that people were, you know, excited to play with. Um, just someone that generally made their life or day a little bit better. You know what I mean? I don't know. They give you such a value, like such a purpose to life. And that sounds weird because like when I first started this, right, I was trying to get away from being a people pleaser. But in a way, I, I kind of combined that passion with also making my own journey. Um, so I'm still able to, you know, manage, control things, such as my Discord, my own streams, my own videos, but I'm also able to be there for others when they need it. Whether, hopefully at one point, it'll be for more advice on streaming or things like that, right, as I'm learning and progressing through this. But for right now, it's just... Hey, how's your day? You know, like, what's going on with your life? How did that move go, etc. Because this community is small enough, I'm able to really interact with people. I don't want to lose that connection. Don't get me wrong. I still want the community to have that family vibe. And I guess that's going to be something I'm going to have to learn as I progress through this. You know, when do you reach those points when you, when you need additional help? Uh, at the moment, I have Peaswad and Solarial as the parents of the group. I also have, um, <clears throat> sorry, I also have uh, your mom. <laughs> okay, that's that's a person that plays with us and is a fellow viewer. I just love her name though. It sounds so funny. And I have Fun Dead or Michael also available, um, who help me kind of keep the community going, right? Like kind of keep our Discord alive and and booming. Uh, they also really do a good job with interacting with fellow streamers on here and just keeping that family vibe, you know? And I know as I as this progresses and it gets bigger, right, we're gonna need more help and more people hopefully that are interested in creating this, keeping this, sorry, keeping this dream alive and making it to all that it can be. So that's kind of, I guess, basement gaming in a quick little summary, a quick little nutshell. Um, if you are interested in joining, of course, you got your Discord link right there. It should work. Leave that up for a little tad there. Okay. Now a little about me. So like I was saying, um, I'm kind of jumping all over the place here, right? But this video and have it be presented this way. So it was kind of like a verbal contract of me saying that 
this is something I'm going to do. I have the worst habit of just letting my anxiety control everything and not going ahead and, and, and streaming or not going ahead and putting myself out there. Like I will stay at a job, for example, till the last day I possibly can because I'm terrified to take that next journey. And not like just terrified as in like I'm a little scared, like terrified as, as as in I wake up in the mornings, I'm throwing up, my anxiety is like through the roof, I get like massive um, headaches and I just, I can't talk, like everything just gets so affected by it and it's it's unreal. And somehow through streaming and through doing all this, I've managed to control it in a way that I never thought possible. Like I said, I, I never thought I'd reach this point where I'm making a video and knowing the fact that I'm going to take this video afterwards and post it online just blows my mind. I never ever thought I would be that kind of person or be that brave. And yet here I am. <laughs> you know, it just, it really blows me away. And I hope as I progress through this, and we start to make these videos have a little bit more of a theme and an idea behind them, um, that you guys will feel a little bit more connected to me. Um, that you'll start to understand me more as a person and hopefully, you know, want to help me continue this journey. I think one thing that as content creators, we're all so scared to admit, and I really don't know why, is that it'd be great to turn this into a part-time job. And that shouldn't be a statement that you're that you're shy to say. You know what I mean? I see so many people like bat pedal right away when money's brought up. You know, whether it's subs on uh, Twitch or a bits that they're getting, or if they have a Patreon. You know, like some people feel so shy to say, "Oh no, no, I, I you know, I'm a fi I'm affiliate for sure, but I, I don't want the money behind it." Well, why not? You worked so hard to get to that level. You absolutely should. You poured your heart, your soul into that project. If someone out there wants to support you and to, you know, help you succeed and, and to continue and to motivate you to keep going, there's nothing wrong with that. I don't know, it's really upsetting to me to see people put such a low value on that kind of support. Let's be honest. We have bills to pay. We have bellies to feed. Some of us have multiple people in their household to look after. Besides all that, you got technology that you need to make your content better. You're going to have services that you're paying for. That money will help you so much in life. And you shouldn't be ashamed, you know, about wanting that also. You can want this. This could be your passion. You can, you know, get that thrill from helping people, from people promoting you and you know liking your videos commenting connecting with those people there's nothing wrong with all that but you can also appreciate that little bit of value you're making from it too i mean if you can make your hobby into a profitable hobby that's fantastic you're making money off something that you actually love doing and i don't think there's any better thrill in life than that so like i'm saying i want to make my intentions clear too Ultimately, yes, I want to expand my circle, make more friends, connect with more people, and help people succeed in whatever their passion is. But if I can also make it into a part-time job, you know, make basement gaming into something bigger than what it is today, of course I'd be excited to do that. If I can make enough money off streaming so that, you know, I could have that as a part-time job, oh my gosh, that'd be fantastic. That's a great thing. And there's nothing wrong with wanting those goals. Maybe I won't ever hit that, and that's okay too. But it's okay in the sidelines to say that I also would like that to happen at one point. So, you know, if I get a few dislikes for that one, I'm sorry, but that's just, that's my view on it. You know, I want to be honest with you guys. I don't want to be that person anymore like I was 10 years ago that just said things to make people happy. I also want my intentions to be true as well, you know? <clears throat> And I think we're I think we're coming a long way. My first goal in all honesty, I think I'm around like sixty to seventy dollars right now that I made on Twitch. Once I hit that hundred dollars, the first thing I'm gonna do with that hundred dollar bill is get a picture frame, frame the money, 
can put it up somewhere where I stream, where I make these videos, so that I can look at that and say, you know what, I did it once, I can do it again. I don't want to touch that money, I don't want to spend that money, I just want to have that money there as like a little trophy. You know, like, look what you managed to do with your life. You actually, you know, took, went from whatever it was, one viewer, right, and made an entire community out of it, and enough where you actually made it into a profitable career. Like, that's so cool to think about. And, like, I have the biggest smile on my face because I just, I can't believe that all this is happening. Like, I can't believe I went from Peas, Wad, Solario, and Tommy to now, what are we at? Um, 28 uh, members of the community? Like, that's, that's so cool. <laughs> like, that's just so cool. And I'm just so happy to be a part of all this and to share this now with you guys. I know I kind of rambled a lot and I'm, I'm sorry if uh, this is kind of like a crummy first video, but I just, I don't know, I just really wanted to share all this and I, I wanted to be a little more personal with everybody. Like I said, you know, I'm, I'm going to try my best in these videos not to swear. I definitely promise you that all I'll be doing is having coffee or water during these. I want it to be as real as possible for you guys. I will do some edits along the way so that the flow is a little bit better, but this will be all me. This this is Mindful Pig. This is who I am. <laughs> um, so take a little second here just to kind of go over everything. So this is my Discord um, that I made, right? Um, so we got our content creator zone. We got self-promotions, gaming clips, uh, YouTube channels, podcasts, must-follow accounts, everyone's little side hustle. We made a naughty, naughty, no, no um, channel. <laughs> it's not like actually anything like sexual. It's just some people, you know, wanted to post pics of what they were smoking, <laughs> if you get what I mean. Some people wanted to put some dirty memes on there and stuff. So I've created that little channel just for them. Pretty much anything my community wants, they get, they know that. <laughs> um, I think everything is kind of a cool idea. We also have great finds. So great finds are like thrift store finds or just things along the way that people might have bought for a really good deal or thought was really exciting. Uh, we have the entertainment section on here. So people's taste in music and movies, TV shows, uh, video games. We had uh, a selfie channel because some people wanted to post some selfies of themselves. Um, also had Gems of War, <laughs> thanks to Beeswad. Um we thought that was kind of an important thing to have because I am a avid Gems of War player. As you see, I'm already playing Gems of War <laughs> on uh, Xbox. It's usually my go-to game for streaming. And yeah, then we have our community uh, channel. So every second Monday, so for example, this Monday was community day. We played Destiny 2. And next Monday will be Monday Night Gems on my stream. And then after that, it'll be uh, community day again. And basically, I just asked everyone, you know, like, what are you interested in playing? So one time it was Destiny. One time it was Fortnite. We're still trying to get Minecraft going. Uh, I guess we could also do Dead by Daylight. We're trying to find games that are cross-platform so that everyone could be a part of it. I don't want to make it just an Xbox thing. and It's kind of that way right now. And I'm, I'm hoping we can expand upon that. And, you know do a few other games and get more people involved. I really don't want to have anyone feel like they're not not welcomed, you know, or not a part of it. I, I really try my best to encourage everyone to, you know, join in. Like, come on, let's have some fun together. Time zones are tough for some people, right? And so are, you know, at-home things as well. So hopefully I can do not just Monday, but I can also do like maybe once a month where I, I do a bigger uh, community day or a longer um one for the viewers. But yeah, this I think was a really good starting video. Um, I think I got a lot off my chest that I really wanted to say between the other 16 bloody takes I took for this. <laughs> um, but yeah, just thank you. Thank you so, so much for letting me be me and letting me just take this journey the way I want to. I, I can't tell you. Just how good it feels to just put yourself out there and be okay with it. Be okay with what people are going to say. Be okay with how people might view you. Um, yeah, it's just such a unique feeling. And I'm so grateful that you guys are giving me this opportunity to be this person and to have encouraged me to try these methods and try these things out. I 
can't thank you guys enough. And I hope that really comes through to each and every person on this Discord. And to my fellow viewers that watch this afterwards. I know I have quite a few lurkers on Twitch that I see are regulars. And, you know, I just want you to know that I, I really appreciate the fact that you're always there. Uh, even though we don't get a chance to talk, I hope that I do make your day better. Because uh, you definitely make mine a lot better. I'm going to put my uh, Discord on here. Sorry, my Discord on my Twitch because, you know, shameless plug. <laughs> but yeah, there's my Twitch if you guys want to watch me and see some content on there as well. And I guess a good way to kind of wrap this up is to give you an idea of what the future videos will be. So, like I said, the future videos I'm thinking are a little bit of history of Mindful Pig and <clears throat> to go over, I guess, my journey of how I got here and do a little more of these where I just kind of talk and vent and, you know, let myself out. I'm also hopefully, oh my goodness, I'm also Remax, <laughs> hoping to do a few um, mobile games on here. So I, I'm streaming on the Chromebook right now and I'm hoping that I can do a few of the games on Google Play just to kind of change a change of pace, right? I don't want to have all my eggs in one basket. I don't want to just do everything on Twitch. I want to have a few videos available elsewhere so that if anything did happen, knock on wood, uh, I wouldn't have to lose everything. You know what I mean? I'd still have something available. I am also hoping to do a weekly recap. It's been an idea I've been toying with for a very long time. I need to get permission from most of these guys and girls on here to see if they're okay with me um, talking about their channels and such. But what I'm hoping to do is kind of like have, uh, I guess as cheesy as it is, like a weekly newscast of basement gaming, right? Like what's going on? Because like I said, Will, he does some really cool charity ideas. Um, PJ's got some really neat streams that he does outside of Gems. Um, Arthur here, he's had some really unique ideas lately, and I think some of them are really worth promoting more of. Peaswad used to do some pretty crazy ideas, uh, like a coconut bikini. <laughs> um, <laughs> it sounds silly, right? But it was really funny how he had it worked out. But he also has his podcast. Um, he has a wheel spin that he does on his channel. He has a little unique items that I really like. Uh, like I said, Z Chick does a lot of great community events. It'd be kind of nice to say what's going on in her world. Um, yeah, so just hopefully I can get permission from some of them that I think um, do some really cool either weekly or monthly activities and do kind of like a little recap. Like I said, I, I know I'm a small fish in the ocean and, and maybe only one or two people might actually watch this, but hey, you know what? If I can get one or two more people to join these guys on their journey and girls, then how much more could you ask for in all honesty? I mean, that's that'd be fantastic, right? Yeah, just that's such a good feeling. Like, it really is. Like, there's nothing better than helping your friends. And yeah, I can't think of on a happier note to leave this, so... Thank you guys, and hopefully I will see you next week for another video. Bye, have a beautiful night.